There are a lot of good reasons why you should cut your own meat after you kill a deer. The most obvious is that you save some money. But for some of us, cutting meat is just part of the hunt. The idea is to enjoy the experience, and once you have put the animal down, then you need to take it to the logical conclusion, which is putting the meat in the freezer. But where do you actually do all this work? I'm going to use my in-laws carport. Now I've created this cutting table out of sawhorses and scrap lumber. I'm going to cover it all with a blue tarp. Went inside, borrowed this cutting board. Over here I have some Pyrodex. I will put the trim pieces right there. That's where the stuff that I grind for hamburg will go. Then I'll put the various cuts right in there. You're going to need some freezer bags, so I went and got these. I have gallon right here and quart size. I'll probably use the quart mostly because I have a small family anymore. I like to take gloves along too because it, it helps keep things cleaner. The rest of these materials you can find in most kitchens, but you do need to have a couple of good knives. The next step is going to be putting the meat out on the tarp and then hosing it down. This is going to get rid of all the dirt, hair, or whatever else is on the meat. There are a lot of good videos on how to cut meat, so I'm not going to get into that. Just cut the meat into familiar shapes, label it, put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. And here's the end result. You might want to double wrap this meat later on, but I have to take it on an airplane, so I'm going to leave it like this in the cooler. Meat cutting isn't rocket science. Actually, you'll get to the point where you kind of enjoy doing it. I see it as part of the whole hunt. I like having the opportunity to do one more thing in gathering my food. This is survivalcommonsense.com. Thank you for watching.